Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Maina Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus, bishops. Saints Timothy and Titus were bishops and assistants of the Apostle Paul. Timothy had charge of the church at Ephesus and Titus of the church in Crete. The letters written to them are called the pastoral epistles, for they contain excellent admonitions for the instructions of both pastors and laity. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, chief shepherd, chief shepherd of the flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, Come let us worship Christ, Christ chief, chief shepherd, shepherd of the flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ chief, chief shepherd, shepherd of the flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, Come, let us worship Christ, Christ chief, chief shepherd of the flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us, us worship Christ, Christ chief, chief shepherd of the flock. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count. Among those who know me, Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children and Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are her children, and while they dance they will sing, In you all find their home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the price of victory. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him. 
his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. Who has kept in his hand the waters of the sea and marked off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighs the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord or has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he consult to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop of the bucket, as dust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for holocausts. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is King, the peoples tremble. He is thrown on the cherubim, the earthquakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoke his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of clouds. They did his will, they kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punished all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God who adorned St. Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly house, homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the promise of life in Jesus Christ, to Timothy, my dear child. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did. As I remember you constantly in my prayers, night and day, I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears, so that I may be filled with joy. As I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Nuise, and that I am confident lives also in you. For this reason, I remind you to steer into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord Jesus Christ, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share 
O hardship for the gospel be the strength that comes from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all your lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord your families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is King. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he attended to visit. He said to them, Their harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money box, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the labor deserve his pay. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is said before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Chapter 4 of the Rule of St. Augustine says, Do not allow your clothing to attract attention. Seek to please not by the clothes you wear, but by the life you live. Whenever you leave the house, go together. Wherever you are going, stay together. In your walk, posture all external comportment to nothing to offend anyone who sees you. Act in a manner worthy of your holy profession. This is a great reminder for uh, the brothers, 
especially uh, those leaving the rule of St. Augustine. And actually, we adopted the rule of St. Augustine, the Dominicans. And I think it is very, very founded in the gospel that we have just heard this morning. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. There is wisdom certainly when two brothers or two disciples go together. The rule of St. Augustine, chapter 4, goes further. Why they have to go two by two? Well, it is very, very practical. First, that they will concentrate to what they will be doing. And another, to remind his companion to look forward to do what they are being sent. And certainly also to protect one another. Kaya nga sabi ni San Agustin, when you look at the woman, do not fix your eyes. When you go out, do not allow yourselves to be decide or to decide, but rather do it or perform your duties an obligation to be professional. So these are good reminders, especially for those living in the communities, for those religious living in the communities. And our Lord himself even reminded those 72 to go directly and to preach what they should going to preach to bring the good news of Jesus to bring the knowledge of the kingdom of heaven the reign of God and not himself or themselves ang mahalaga sila ay pinadala ng ating Panginoon upang ipaghanda ang kanyang daan. Kaya, anong dapat dadalhin nila? Our Lord somehow reminded them not to bring anything body or any reserve clothes, shoes, no? Because they will be working for the kingdom of God. And when they work for the kingdom of God, certainly God will provide. They, don't, they should not be afraid to be hungry because the livers deserve a reward. Our Lord urges us to pray. The harvest is abundant, but the livers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out livers for his harvest. 
Indeed, this is very true. Not only during the time of our Lord Jesus Christ, even during our time, even at present, indeed, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. We have here seminarians, we have novices, we have here sisters who are working or preparing in order to be sent later on. Let us pray that they will persevere so that they will become worthy harvesters of the great harvest that is waiting for them. But alam nyo, malaking problema din eh. Oftentimes, we pray for seminarians or for those who are undergoing trainings or formation. But we must certainly for those who are already working in the fields because they are there. Yung mga pari natin, yung mga madre natin na nasa misyon, mas kailangan nila ang ating panalangin. Why? Because they are being exposed, exposed to their work, to their different kinds of work. Kaya mahirap, mahirap. Yung mahirap pa, when we pray to the master of the harvest to send more harvester, yung problema ngayon eh, yung harvester ang siyang hina-harvest. Di ba? Yung harvesters, sila yung hina-harvest. They are harvested by those uh, people, no? Kaya sabi ko sa mga youth namin noon sa Jensen, sa DYC, pag makikita kayo ng seminarians, I reminded them, the seminarians belong to God. Ibigay nyo na sa Diyos ito mga seminarians. Huwag nyo nang pakialaman. Wag nyo na ang pakayal. Ganun din sa mga pari. They undergone all those trainings, hardships, and their formation. Now they are priests. Sabi nga, ipagdasal natin sila. Wag natin silang akitin. Wag natin silang akitin. Eh, ito yung ano eh. Ito yung problema sa panahon ngayon. Kulang na tayong mga harvesters pero they are being harvested. Pagdasal natin. Pagdasal natin. Na sana po we priests, missionaries will be more faithful to where we belong, to what God intends us to be. Kaya ang napakaganda besides prayer, lalong-lalo na sa mga lay people natin, reminds us, reminds us. I think that is a great help to remind our seminarians, to remind our priests, to remind our religious sisters, to remind our missionaries what they are called for. At wag nating spoiled. May iba kasi spoiled. Kaya yung hindi makikita yung inaasahan sa kumbento, nakikita sa labas. So, ayan. They are more attractive to work outside 
rather than to stay in the convent looking for greener pastures. Kaya, the number one role of the Li people is to remind. And that is a good prayer to remind us of our works, to remind us that God sent us to be His apostles, to be His disciples, that God sends us to bring peace to people and to bring and share the kingdom of God. As we pray for you, kindly pray for us also. Please then, Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our vocation to become lights of the world. Let our response be, Father of goodness, shine on us. Father of goodness, shine on us. The other church, the people of God, may become a great light shining in the darkness of this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. That the leaders of the world may bring rays of hope in the lives of those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. That Christians may be the light on the mountain top guiding people in their journey to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. That the sick, the old, and the neglected may continue to hope because of the light shone by those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. For our Pope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Father of goodness, shine on us. For justice, peace, and development of our country, and for our brothers and ministry as San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, we pray. Father of goodness, shine on us. For the intentions of our Master of the Order, Father Gerald Francisco Timoner III Opi, who is celebrating his birthday today. We pray. Father of goodness, shine on us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak and for our personal intentions. We pray. Father of goodness, shine on us. That eternal light may send on our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. God our Father, give us a new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of our brothers and sisters so that we may let your light shine toward all. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Please stand. Pray with your friends that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of St. Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saints Timothy and Titus, you bid yourself rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of their holy life, touch her by their words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift of praise by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis Saupo, Socrates so Archbishop, Fidelis' assistant, Gerard, a master of the order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, Timothy and Titus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul Jesus. shall be healed.
Please stand. Proclaim the message. Insist on it in season and out of season. Refute falsehood. Correct error. Call to obedience. But do all with patience and sound doctrine. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has risen for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promises to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath this word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you my child, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, High for you, you will go before, before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Proclaim, Proclaim the, the message, message insist on, on it in season and out of season, refute falsehood, correct, correct error, call to obedience, but do all with patience and sound doctrine. Litany of Gratitude After the COVID Pandemic let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. Let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you entered a world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breath, the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy and for this, we thank you and praise you. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles 
and keep safe by the rivers of Saints Timothy and Titus to Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagkikisa sa Eucharistia ngayong umaga. Thank you very much and let us continue praying for one another, especially for us priests and religious and seminarians and deacons we have here. Please include us in your prayers. We need prayers. You need prayers and we pray for one another. Ingat lang po, pandiping, I believe is not yet over. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and launch the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We we'll love first the prayer of the sick. Uh, kindly remember the names of your loved ones who are sick and need this blessing. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they were gratefully blessed your holy name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 